Reddit by Reddit Recap. What was the best accidental nudity you've seen in person? As a senior in high school my friend and I were going to the band room before going home. We went into the back room to get our instruments. Turns out all of our dance line were about to try on new uniforms. And by about to try on I mean crumpled uniform at feet stage. It was glorious. Had to set up a trust fund at my spank bank. I was in Florida with my wife, one of her friends, we'll call her Megan, and my wife's family. We were at the beach and my wife's friend is blessed with quite massive boobs. My wife's grandpa leaned over to me and said I wouldn't mind if Megan had a wardrobe malfunction. 10 seconds later a wave hit her and her top fell completely off. It felt like grandpa did it with his mind or something. At this point grandpa leans back over and says fuck yeah, looks like I won't be standing up for a while. My grandpa in law is the shit. I was standing outside my truck after a nice long mountain bike ride and was enjoying my lunch. A car pulled up and I just chose to ignore it but a hot babe, 8 of 10, steps out with spandex shorts on. This obviously got my attention. Then I discreetly began to sneak glances. She must have assumed I wasn't looking because on the other side of the car she proceeded to change into her biker jersey. While doing that her bra accidentally slipped up and I could see both boobs completely through the windows. It was a good day for 16 year old horny me. My roommate's gf laying on his bed naked. His door open. I walked by, looked and smile and waved. Super nice tits and she did not care. So I currently work at a store that has a flow rider, an artificial surfing wave where water is sent up a tarp at 35 plus miles per hour. Anyways these women always come in with the tightest bikinis trying to look good for their boyfriends. I constantly see bikinis being ripped off. I've seen more tits and vag at this job than in my social life. TLDR. I get paid to see chicks naked. One night after leaving the bar. Some buddies and I went to a waffle house on the beach in Biloxi, Miz they had several sorority girl types eating together, all in smaller cocktail dresses. I paid my bill and went outside to sit in the car to make a phone call, and I noticed one of the hotter chicks walking outside in a dress that barely covered her bottom, and I thought to myself man, what I wouldn't do for a great big gust of wind, we are on the beach. Well not 2 seconds later the wind whipped up and blew her dress up to her chest and I got to see the cutest little leopard print thong I've ever seen. I felt like Bruce Almighty. Lesbian sex. I was visiting my boyfriend's house and one of his roommates was this awesome chick who happened to be a lesbian. I pulled up and noticed her car was in the driveway so I went upstairs to say hi and her door was slightly propped open and music was playing. Walked up and looking into the room and saw her getting railed by her girlfriend with a strap on. I sort of gawked for a minute and then ran downstairs giggling as fast as I could. She still doesn't know. Working in Florida stayed at a Motel 6. It's a little past midnight and we're hanging by the grimy pool when an argument breaks out in one of the rooms. A bearded biker looking guy stumbles out of the room and walks off. Moments later a lady in a thong with titty tassels walks out yelling at him that he owes her money. She must have loaned him some money earlier in the day. When I was around 13 or so a bee flew into my neighbor's shirt. She was around 23 at the time. And she tore off her shirt trying to get rid of the bee then ran around the yard. She must have forgotten she didn't have a bra on. Great moment for a 13 year old. The same thing happened in front of me and my dad when I was a little kid. Dad worked as a car salesman, and the car yard was close to our home, so I'd go visit him and have lunch with him at work on the weekends it was a golden time for us both. One Sunday afternoon, I'm following dad around the car yard while he's showing a winsome young lady the virtues of various automobiles he had for sale. Without warning, bees. Bees everywhere including one particularly crafty young bee, who flew directly into the young lady's button up shirt. Naturally, there was a short moment of panic, but she took decisive action. Grasping either side of the shirt, she tore it open to expose a very, very nice pair of boobies. There was a moment of stunned silence, punctuated only by the rattle of six plastic buttons bouncing on the hard concrete at her feet and the now distant hum of a hive of swarming bees. Well, 
Those beastings certainly swell up quickly, don't they says my dad. He lent her a promotional t-shirt to wear home, and she ended up buying a car from him the following weekend. It was late at night and I was sitting in my friend's bedroom waiting for him to come back from the bathroom because I wanted to ask him something before I went to bed. What I didn't realize was that he was getting ready to have sex and so this naked girl walks in, thinking that the room is empty, and she sees me and assumes that I'm there for a threesome. She runs out the room, gets dressed and goes home and my friend doesn't talk to me for the rest of the night because I cock blocked him so bad. I went on a cruise once with my family and a big group of our friends. There was a super hot older daughter in one of the groups that every boy, including myself, had a crush on. She was kind of like the hot nanny you always fantasize about. On the back of the cruise ship we took, there was this generated wave you could surf and boogie board on called the Flow Rider. That's where my group of friends would stay for long parts of the day while the ship was sailing. On our last night of the cruise, the group of families I was with decided to rent out the flow rider for a personal session. Now, this wave is not dainty it's as if two huge speedboat props were set on 11, shooting water up a slope creating a wake like effect. This meant if you crashed while riding it, you would be hurled towards the top of the wave in a heap with water shooting everywhere. There were signs around it saying watch for loose clothing. See where I am going with this? After about 20 minutes of our group taking turns to ride the wave, the aforementioned hot girl takes control and is doing her thing while the people look on. She was wearing a teeny tiny bikini, and had all of the young guys staring at her with the utmost focus. Next thing we know, she catches an edge, biffs it hard in the water, and both pieces of her swimsuit went shooting off the back end of the wave onto the deck behind it. She gets to the top, stands up, and is buck ass naked. It was a like a teenage boy's dream come true. TLDR. Hot chick lost her bikini on a generated wave as a large group of family and friends looked on. I was a bellman at a top Miami Beach hotel yeah the white one. Checking in a family with kids and their key did not work. Used my universal key to uncover a hardcore sex scene for the family. Yeah, welcome to Miami. I was in Victoria's Secret with the wife and she went into a dressing room to try something on. So I took a seat on the bench right in front. A few seconds later, a door opens and there is a chick standing there in just a bra and asks me if it looks good. I say yes, and she looks up and realizes that I'm not her boyfriend. She smiles and closes the door, never freaking out. Her boyfriend sits down near me, and asks how she is doing, and she says good then opens the door to ask him another opinion, sees me there again and starts laughing as she drops the bra. My wife walks out a second later to see the girl standing there and the boyfriend and I just nodding in approval. Best part was, my wife says to her nice tits. Not full nudity, but in high school we were getting ready for a concert band performance and one of the really cute clarinet girls decided she would just change in the band room since all she had to do was put on a skirt and take off her shorts. Skirt goes up, she reaches up under it, shorts come down, snag on her skirt and skirt goes down as well. She did not notice right away and I was the one standing closest to her and quickly let her know. She pulled her skirt up as fast as she could and was so embarrassed that she had to hide her face in the nearest thing possible which happened to be my chest. Not nudity, but underwear plus immediate 30 seconds comforting hug was about as much as my sophomore brain could take 15 years later and I can still see the expression on her face when she realized what had happened. TLDR. Public panties plus pretty awesome hug. The other day. I was walking down the sidewalk next to a busy road. Some strange gust of wind blew my dress completely up over my head. I was not wearing panties. Lots of honks. Felt like I was in a movie. Must have looked like an idiot. Anyway, I bet I provided anyone who drove by with the most entertaining accidental nudity they've seen in person. You're not alone there, sister. Aside from all the times wind has exposed my goods. My most memorable exposure involved walking for a couple of blocks down a busy street before a nice older gent pulled over and informed me that my dress was tucked into my rather tiny underwear, and all the cars behind me could see my ass. 
When I was around 11 I was on holiday in Spain and had competitions with my brother to see who could hold their breath underwater for the longest. I would go down to the pool and practice by myself and one time I was underwater. I heard someone dive into the pool and it was a topless woman and I was wearing goggles needless to say I was down there a while. Staying at a hostel in a mixed dorm. I was on a bottom bunk and a Swedish girl was in the bunk above me. The room was pretty well lit from external lights, and as I got up in the middle of the night to go pee I get an eyeful of toplessness. It's wonderful how open Scandinavian girls are with nudity. I was in a massive dorm in Spain. About 20-30 people in there. Three Danish girls were there for the weekend and would change unabashedly or walk out of the shower nude to their beds no matter who was around. In retrospect, their constant nudity did explain their lack of tan lines. My ex-sister-in-law, she is now divorced from my brother, had a smoking hot body, blonde, blue eyes, nice boobs, and one of the best asses I have ever seen. Seriously, it was like a shelf. Anyway, the first night I met her when she was dating my brother, we were at my brother's house in the kitchen drinking. We decided to go down to his basement man cave and continue the party. My sister-in-law went upstairs for the night to go to bed. About an hour later, I climbed the stairs back into the kitchen to get beers for me, my brother, and our friends. From where I was in the kitchen, you could look up and see into his bedroom, the room was at the end of a hall, in a sort of loft type setup. Anyway, as I looked up into their room, I saw her changing. At first, I really only saw her from the side, side boob and nothing from the waist down. But then she walked to the far corner of the room. And I saw that ass in all its glory. And it was. Amazing. When they divorced. A lot of people couldn't understand why my brother stuck with her so long when she was such a bitch and seemingly crazy. I knew why. Best comment of the day. Went to a comic con with some guys. And one of my friends brought a female friend. At one point I came back to the room. To use the restroom as the ones in the convention. Had lines stretching for several yards. I do my business, and while washing my hands I hear someone else come in. I don't think much of it till I leave the bathroom, turn to see who it was, and it's the woman staying with us. She is currently changing out of her cosplay, and is now completely nude. She was wearing a zero suit Samus cosplay for anyone curious. Unsure of how to approach without looking like a perv I just decided to act, like I had just come in. So I quietly opened the door then shut it a bit louder than I probably needed to. She turned, deer in her headlights, before shrugging her shoulders and going, yeah, that was my fault. Room full of guys, and the one time I decide to change outside of the bathroom a guy would decide to walk in. I apologize and she asks if she at least looks good. I tell her yes, and she quickly puts on some panties, and I turn around saying that I would be back in a few minutes. Really nice girl, great body, if she didn't have the eyes for my friend, probably would have asked her out. Still, did become friends though. 